And Africanism must come from the bottom up, from the masses of the people up. It is here then that we'll come to see the real aspect of Pan-Africanism. We said that in the Fifth Pan-African Congress, they called for mass organizations, and immediately mass organizations sprang up throughout the length and breadth of the African world. The Conventional People's Party, a mass party, sprang up in Ghana. The Democratic Party of Guinea, a mass party, sprang up in Guinea. Throughout the length and breadth of Africa, you had the TANU, the Tanzanian African National Union, which is now the CCM. My Swahili is uh, not as good as yours. It's Chimpa, Chimpuraza, Mazuri. That's very good. Oh, <laughs> my, my Swahili is bad. <laughs> Thank you. Chapa Chapman, Puduzi. Exactly, exactly. And uh, that's their new party. But all over Africa, mass parties sprung up. If you look at the Caribbean, mass parties sprung up. And if you look at the United States, mass movements sprang up. So the call was heeded for mass confrontation. Of course, the Fifth Pan-African Congress made two definite and precise resolutions which I want to uh, highlight. Of course, Pan-Africanism from the very beginning was anti-colonial. From the very beginning, it was anti-colonial. It was weak. So when they came, they didn't say to the queen, we're going to put you out of the country. They said, you must treat the natives right. You must educate them. You must prepare them for self-government. These are things that are weak, but they were anti-colonial in essence. We must not look at the form. And we got stronger, the more this anti-colonialism will express itself. Now, anti-colonialism is nothing but anti-capitalism. Because colonialism is nothing but an offshoot, an aspect of capitalism. Therefore, if you're anti-colonial, you must be anti-capitalist, if you're logical in your thinking, of course, and your actions. Some people are not, but we are speaking of logical people here. <laughs> yes. If you're anti-capitalist, then you must be socialist. Capitalism cannot unite Africa. Africa has to be united by socialism. Now, there's a lot of confusion here on this question of capitalism and socialism. Just recently, a young man said to me, but socialism died. I said, it did. He said, you didn't hear about it? I said, I missed the funeral. <laughs> of course, he spoke about the betrayals that occurred in the East. You must not let capitalism confuse your thinking. This is a struggle which Pan-Africanism takes on. We struggle against imperialism in the ideological arena because many people think that capitalism just wants to exploit your labor. It wants to confuse your thinking and make you think just like them. And this is where the real fight occurs. So therefore, this struggle of confusing the thinking, I told the man, I said, you're talking nonsense. Socialism cannot uh, uh, disappear. It cannot die. He said, yes, it can. I said, no. He said, how do you say that? I said, well, you are judging uh, socialism by socialists. You don't do that. He said, I've never heard such nonsense. If you don't judge socialism by socialists, what do you judge it by? I say, you judge it by its principles. Every system is judged by its principles, never its adherence. So he still saw confusion. He said, you're just talking double talk. I said, OK, do you judge Christianity by Christians? <laughs> so we must not be confused here. Socialism doesn't fall because of betrayal. No system does. The person who betrays themselves goes to the mud, but the system with its eternal principles keep marching on. If a system fell because of betrayal, Christianity would have been finished with Judas. At least Judas had the dignity to hang himself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these who betray socialism don't have that dignity. Gorbachev still runs around speaking and picking up 30 pieces of silver everywhere. Yeah. So uh, socialism is an economic system, and there can only be two in the world, capitalism or socialism, because every economic system must answer one fundamental question. Who will own and control the wealth of the country? Who will own and control the means of production? The question can only be answered two ways. Either a few will own or everyone will own. It's as simple as that. And under capitalism, we say, Please summarize that we might have. No, I'm going. I thought I had 20 minutes. It's my time. I thought I had 20 minutes. I was going by the clock. How much time do I have left? I'm sorry. Maybe I'm off. That's what I thought I did. I was watching. No, I'm watching my clock. I'm a responsible. I'm rev revolutionary. I go by time. <laughs> got my clock. Thank you. <laughs> no. Matter of fact, I can say it in two words black power. <laughs> and today we've gone to one Pan Africanism. <laughs> Yeah. So there are only two economic systems, and it's going to be capitalism or socialism. Capitalism is a backward system. There's no need to discuss it. Certainly anyone who's been made a slave by capitalism ought to be hesitant in trying to support the system. But as a conscious African, I must be against capitalism, and I must, of course, seek to destroy it. So in, when you speak of Pan-Africanism, you must understand you speak of socialism. And we want to underline there's only one socialism out here, and that's scientific socialism, whose principles are abiding and universal. There's no such thing as African socialism, Chinese socialism, Russian socialism, Arab socialism. There's only one socialism. The confusion arises over ideology. That is that which guides you towards your objective. 
So we're saying clearly here, Pan-Africanism is not an ideology. It is an objective. It is an achievable. Pan-Africanism is the total liberation and unification of Africa under scientific socialism. All we want is a unified continent with a socialist system. That's all. But you know Africa is the richest continent in the world. When she's properly organized, she'll be the most powerful. Yeah, of course. Of course. And me, all I want is power. <laughs> I'm not like others. I don't want money. I don't want popularity. I just want the power I'm supposed to get. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>